Ladies and gentlemen, um, how do I say this? John Bolton doesn't know anything about why Trump withheld military assistance. Or if he does, he knows it's only because Ukraine is said to be corrupt and President Trump withheld military assistance for the same reason that Joe Biden uh, has stated that he forced the firing of a prosecutor because of corruption. That's it. That's all they can... There's no proof. There's no... The burden of proof is on the person accusing the other person of a crime of misconduct or wrongdoing. Now, there, there aren't even conflicts of interest here. So if you have conflicts of interest, for example, with Biden and Burisma and Hunter... Then you could connect the dots. The dots that Democrats have connected are absurd. Trump doesn't care about Biden. They, they think too highly of themselves. Biden is leading a procession of people who can't win, including Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders could have won in 2016. They cheated him. They're cheating him again. He, served, he, he has served and he will serve only to funnel progressive and left-leaning votes back into Clinton 2020. Clinton is Trump's direct political rival, not Biden. Biden has stated that coal miners need to learn to code. Okay, so there goes Pennsylvania and Rust Belt states. He states he wants to be a one-term president. He's losing money, and he doesn't mind having a Republican vice president. Okay, that, there's no Biden campaign. That's part of the charade. But President Zelensky stated there was no pressure. For the democratic fantasy to work, that Trump interfered in the election like Russia interfered, or that Trump colluded with Russia, except there's zero evidence of that. The Mueller probe, the Mueller probe proved the whole thing was set up and fabricated, and how do we know they didn't even put, not even one indictment, process crime, not even one allegation, obstruction of justice against Trump, not one um, you know, a suspicious meeting between the Russians and what happened to the Trump Jr. meeting. And they put nothing to do with the Mueller probe, all three years worth of it. From Michael Flynn to Carter Page to, to uh, the Trump Jr. meeting, not one, n nothing. They put nothing to do with the Mueller probe in the articles of impeachment. Why is that? Because they were lying about the Mueller probe also. That was a fabricated hoax, just like this impeachment nonsense. If three years of U.S. history meant anything, they would have included the Mueller probe within the articles of impeachment. They didn't even do that. So they found nothing with Mueller. They set up and framed Trump. Now you have uh, William Barr and John Durham. Now they, uh, you know, going after the people who literally set up and framed Trump. But you have the Mueller, you have the articles of impeachment that do not list a crime. Only allegations, completely debunked by President Zelensky and President Poroshenko, who both state there's there there was no quid pro quo. Okay, they weren't leveraged. I think the leaders, the current and and previous leader, a president of the Ukraine of Ukraine, would have known if there was a pressure campaign. Anyway, John Bolton, okay, let's get to why John Bolton was even hired in the first place. Trump doesn't care about John Bolton. Trump doesn't think, he, John, John Bolton is, he's failed at every foreign policy endeavor. Okay, the reason that he was appointed, he was part of the Bush administration. He pushed for all the, the miserably failed, horribly, um, failed foreign policy interventions and regime changes that didn't work, that set us towards a course of never-ending counterinsurgency conflict that we can't get out of, that Democrats don't want us to get out of. When Trump even mentions, hey, we got to remove our, our presence, oh my God, oh my God. But Trump issued a statement, quote, I never told John Bolton that aid to Ukraine was tied to investigations into Democrats, including the Bidens. First of all, the notion that Biden can't be investigated is absurd. Why can't Biden be investigated? Trump was. Well, oh, because journalists and some diplomats believe that Hunter 
was only on the board of directors for, of Barisma because of what? Because of a coincidence? Because th- there was no quid pro quo, no nothing there. The the prosecutor that that Biden forced out in an admission to the Council on Foreign Relations, where he says, oh, yeah, I'm leaving in six hours. You're not going to get the loan guarantees, a billion dollars in loan guarantees until you fire this person. That prosecutor, Shokin, he's already sworn in a sworn affidavit, along with others, that Rudy Giuliani has in his possession that state that, that, um, that they've... Um, utilized that <laughs> that Biden forced out Shokin, the prosecutor, because of a corrupt motive, because his his son was on the board of directors. Now, that's what he said in a sworn affidavit. Oh, you don't believe him? Oh, okay, but, but people believe Bolton in a book that nobody's read yet? Sworn affidavit, uh, Bolton in a book. Person who was actually fired because of Biden? Or... Comey memos. So Trump fires Comey. They literally start a three-year special counsel because of a disgruntled FBI director who was fired. And a scorned media and, and press and, and establishment in Washington, both left and right, mainly left. They started a three-year Mueller probe because of Comey memos and a dossier that was purchased by Clinton. But they, but you won't. You, they don't want to hear what Rudy Giuliani has found out. They would rather hear what Christopher Steele found out, which was complete nonsense. Rudy Giuliani is ready to actually try the case against Biden. He's already stated he's like, yeah, I would totally, in a court of law, take him down. You can't use the uh, the Steele dossier in a court of law. There is no Steele dossier in a court of law. The whole thing is nobody was ever indicted on the Steele dossier. For all those process crimes, what they did is they completely weaponized and politicized the FBI and the Justice Department, and it's still going on. And this is, a, this is an arm wrestling match between two factions of the United States government. That's all it is. And then when they, when they investigate and begin investigations and, uh, of Trump, and if, if it's the Southern District, oh, no problem. But if it's Trump... Wanting to investigate why Biden was, why Hunter was on the board of directors when his father was vice president in Ukraine as the point man for Ukrainian uh, uh, foreign policy towards Ukraine. Oh my God, you can't do that. But here, in fact, he never complained this at the time of his very public ter- termination. That's very true. If John Bolton said this, this, it was only to sell a book. With that being said, the transcript of my call with President Zelensky and all the proof that is needed, in addition to the fact that President Zelensky and Foreign Minister of Ukraine said there was no pressure and no problems. Additionally, I met with President Zelensky at the United Nations. Democrats said I never uh, met and released the military aid to Ukraine without any condition or investigations and far ahead of schedule. I also allowed Ukraine to purchase... Uh, javelin anti-tank missiles my administration has done far more than the previous administration very true very true then you have one person there's only one way to find out he must testify under oath sorry you only testify under oath when you lie about uh, you know oh I, I never had relations oh yes i did oh my goodness i you know what president trump gave javelin anti-tank missiles to ukraine and i gave my own version of the anti-tank missile. I call it the Arkansas um, rocket. He lied about what actually took place. Okay, something took place in the Oval Office. Nothing took place in that transcript. Nothing took place according to President Zelensky. Nobody cares about Biden. It's all in the neuroses of Democrats, yes. If you take the corporate media... The people, all the people who talk about corporate media, most of the people who talk about corporate media are corporate. <laughs> they get twenty million dollars in, in in venture capital. But if you talk about like you know MSNBC, CNN, the New York Times, the Washington Post, if you were actually to flip the script and utilize their talking points in a manner like he wanted to, yeah, they they think that Trump worked with Russia. Yeah, that's right to hack the DNC because the corruption in the DNC, knowing that, is actually a Russian plot. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Trump, 
he he withheld military assistance a year and a half before the election because he's afraid of Biden, who promises to only be a one-term president. Clinton is going to be nominee. That is obvious. That is obvious. So, I mean, the notion that that um, the notion that he's afraid of Clinton because Biden is number one in most polls that makes no sense at all. That makes no sense at all. And then I want to read this state. This is hilarious. This is a statement when when John Bolton was fired. You know they're you know they're lying through their teeth about everything. Like all they have is a book that hasn't been released yet. They've gone from a dossier to a book that hasn't been released. Soon they're going to go to crop circles and like cloud formations and you know ast- astrology, and, you know anything tarot cards. They're going to impeach Trump again on on tarot cards and like astrology readings. You know, but here, Engel's statement on firing of John Bolton. This is hilarious. This is September 10th, 2019. This is one of the top Democrats in the House. Representative Elliot L. Engel, chairman of the House Committee on Foreign Relations. Okay. No mention of Ukraine. So Trump is right. Trump is right. They would have brought up the issue of Ukraine. Okay. Quote, the firing of the National Security Advisor is the latest reminder that the Trump administration foreign policy is in complete disarray. No, it's not. So what? He wanted Michael Flynn, who's an honorable man. God bless General Michael Flynn. He was completely set up and framed. Completely. You think he wanted McMaster and Bolton? Okay. Trump has been battling. <laughs> he, it's like he didn't even get, he hasn't even gotten the national security advisor he's wanted since, since Flynn. He's probably doing all the things that he did. Was, they were probably done based on his own gut instinct. Okay, like removing Americans uh, in Syria and um, peace between North and South Korea, being the first president to step foot in North, and, uh, in North Korea. Okay, that's all probably, I don't see McMaster or Bolton, maybe McMaster, but not Bolton, for, sur- for sure not Bolton, with negotiations up and vital negotiations with China stalled, North Korea ramping up tests, Great Britain on the brink of, cra- of crashing out of the EU, well, that's a good thing, <laughs> and, and, and Iran and Russia up to no good, <laughs> up to no good, they, they don't even, they give, they've given up, they're mailing it home, they don't, it's like they've given up, they have nothing on Trump. You just have, like, they're just trying to sell contempt. This is when a statement when um, Bolton was fired. American leadership is desperately needed around the world. The world doesn't care. Honestly, the world does, like, whatever. Just, do, just leave us alone. Instead, our national security decision making processes are in chaos, and America is less safe. No, we're much safer than we were under President Obama. President Obama, through a failed NATO intervention, actually destroyed a country in Libya. There are people bought and sold right now in Libya because of because of Democrats. It failed regime change, and then they just you know shrug shoulders. Oh well. Do you think they would allow uh, Trump to get away with that? No. The president needs to immediately appoint a qualified replacement who respects human rights and de- democracy, uh, supports diplomacy and development, and recognizes, and this is the hilarious part, and recognizes that alliances and engagement are pillars of American foreign policy. No, they're not. No, they're not. During the Cold War, yes. Okay. NATO is a Cold War relic. We shouldn't even be in NATO. So, one of these days I'm going to write an article on this. There's no need for NATO, aside from getting a whole bunch of countries to do our bidding. (laughs) Getting a whole bunch of countries who happen to have interests aligned with ours to make it easier for us to say, well, it wasn't just the United States, it was also France and the UK. Okay? We don't need NATO. If other countries want to go along with us in a military endeavor, they do. Big deal. Okay? NATO is a response to the Warsaw Pact. There is no Warsaw Pact. And if Russia invades Poland, which they wouldn't, which that they didn't, it was one of the NATO members that did, um, that's never going to happen. 
And even if it did, which it would never happen, and history is that never happened in history, well, there were atrocities that took place okay, in the Katyn Forest, but my point to you is they don't have, Russia does not have the economy to engage in a world war. And the next war, God forbid, is going to be nuclear, which is far more dangerous than climate change. Because climate change is going to take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, you know, President Obama bought beach, beachfront property for a reason. Um, President Obama beach house. Buying peculiar island retreat. <laughs> All right, so they're not worried about Okay, climate change. They're not worried about oceans rising. They bought a wonderful uh, vacation home in Martha's Vineyard right next to the ocean. It's beautiful. Okay, God bless them. They're not worried about climate change, okay? Not worried. I'm not saying it's not a, an issue. It's an important issue, okay? It's an important issue, obviously. Not nearly as important as nuclear proliferation or nuclear uh, war and conflict, which we still have. Which we, which was, which has increased. Democrats have increased the odds of a nuclear confrontation because they're so maniacal about the DNC emails proving their corruption. Give me your thoughts below. Bolton has no information. They're now going. They're, now they're not trying to. Um, they're now trying to talk about unpublished <laughs> manuscripts for books. Oh, my God, this is going to take Trump down. And then they're like, well, we want witnesses. Go ahead, have witnesses. You know what? Josh Hawley has, um, you can say all you like. You can, you know, you know, just, you know, put your hands, you know, over your ears and stick your head in the sand like an ostrich. And no, we know Hunter has nothing to do with this. He has everything to do with this. He has everything to do with this. So does Biden. So go ahead and maybe they want to sink Biden's campaign further, which is very obvious. For Clinton, Clinton's going to be the nominee. Give me your thoughts below. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. Thank you. I have a a segment on the great, great, uh, legendary Kobe Bryant. Thank you so very much.